What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Pat Harris. I'm a full-time Amazon seller and I'm also an Amazon coach. So I've been teaching people how to sell on Amazon for over five years now and this is still the best technique to find good products to sell on Amazon. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I found a product that's making over $30,000 a month in under 10 minutes. Also, the tool that I'm gonna be using in this video is called Helium 10 and I do get to offer a huge discount to my followers so you could find that down below below as well. All right, with that being said, let's get into my computer right now and break down how I find winning products. Let's go. All right, guys, so we are inside Helium 10. If you don't know what Helium 10 is, it's an Amazon tool that helps people find products to sell on Amazon. Does a bunch of other stuff as well, which I'll show you in this video. But for today's tutorial, we're gonna use Helium 10 Black Box. And this is how you could find potential products that you might not know about based on different data points. You could use the products tab to find products based on category and all these different filters. But what I'm going to do is use the keywords tab. I've done this in other videos, but there's always something different in each tutorial. So we might find different tips and tricks in this video that you have not seen in other videos. So one of the main things I do is start off right here for search volume. I want to find a product that's getting searched around 8,000 times a month. And I want to find a product that's making around 8000 or more per month in revenue. I want to find a product that's over $12, but under about, let's say, $60. Typically, the higher the price point, the more it is going to cost from the manufacturer. So if you have a product that costs $120 on Amazon, chances are that product will be very expensive to manufacture. So if you don't have a big budget, make sure to keep this number a lot lower. And then one of the most important filters is the review count. I want to keep it very low. I want to put it around 100. And then what we could do is go down here and exclude keywords. Now this is very important because we are around the holidays. About a month ago it was Christmas time. So I don't want to see anything related to Christmas. So I'm going to put Christmas, ornament, um, Grinch, anything related to Christmas right there. And if you see a product that keeps popping up over and over, you want to get rid of that product. So it makes room for other products to pop up because on Helium 10, it only shows you up to 200 different products or keywords when you're using black box. So I put that in right there. And then what I'll also do is go down here and I will put a max variation count of one. That means there's only going to be one variation. For example, one color, one size. I don't want to have a product that has a bunch of variations because then you need different SKUs. You need to order more inventory. You need to run ads on different variations. So I'm going to put variation count one or less and then we will hit search and see what pops up so again this is one of the hardest parts of the process it takes time to find a good product to sell on Amazon again a lot of these things don't mean anything to me I'm looking for products that might catch my attention um, hydrolonic acid tubes I don't know what those are that's a book again I do not want to sell books on Amazon this is X-Men you cannot sell trademarked names on Amazon and we are at the bottom of the page now if you look there are five different pages so we're gonna keep going again we could really narrow it down using these filters but I want to start very broad and then we can narrow it down later alright so I saw this product right here it's a Kindle pillow and it caught my attention because they are making around twenty five thousand dollars in the last month and they only have 17 reviews and over 10,000 people are searching for this on Amazon. So now I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna hit view on Amazon and see what the overall market looks like. And we can see this seller has nine reviews. They're getting about 100 sales a month. Um, a lot of these sellers sell the same exact pillow, but some of them are doing very well on Amazon. So if you could differentiate this type of product, have a different colored pillow, I don't know what you would do, but this product is doing very well on Amazon. As you can see, they have very low reviews and they are getting sales. So from here, I'm gonna pull up Helium 10 X-Ray and check the overall market, and we could see that these sellers are doing very well, but what I like to look at is the average reviews are very high. So just because one product does well and it pops up on Helium 10 Black Box doesn't mean the overall market is good because this looks like a competitive market. And right here, you can see the top sellers have around 700 reviews, um, but if we go down here, there are going to be sellers like this one right here um, has 16,000 reviews. So this would be a very competitive market. So we would not want to sell that product. All right, so now we're going to keep scrolling. One of the products that popped up is a 10,000 savings challenge box. 21,000 monthly searches. They're making $30,000 in the last month with under 100 reviews. So I'm going to pull that up and we could see that everybody sells pretty similar products. But what you want to see is these top sellers have very low reviews and they are getting over 4,000, 5,000 a month in sales. 
this person's making over 16,000 a month in sales. I um, mean, they only have 16 reviews. And then what you really want to see a new seller like this who has no reviews, they don't even have the Amazon Prime badge. And as you can see right here, Amazon says that they're getting over 100 sales in the last month. So that is a good indicator that this market has room for new Amazon sellers. Now, I'm not saying to sell this because a lot of these look very similar and there's other things we need to look into. But that is how you can find potential winning products with low competition where a lot of the top sellers are doing very well and they don't have a lot of reviews. Um, let's see if we can find one more potential product. Let's go down here and keep on scrolling and see what we can find. All right, so this kind of caught my eye, adult Jenga game, Naughty. Um, they're only making around 9,000 a month, but they only have 27 reviews. So it looks like it's Jenga, but on each block, it has different things to do. So I'm not gonna talk about what's on the blocks, but you could see like this seller right here, 800 sales or more in the last month. They don't even have the Amazon Prime badge. Here's one that has no reviews and they're getting over 50 sales in the last month. So here's another potential product that you could differentiate, have different things on these pieces of wood for Jenga. However, what you'll notice is you cannot use the word Jenga in the title. So that's a little tip for you guys because a lot of brand new Amazon sellers will use trademark brand names and you cannot do that on Amazon. So that's why they have different words right here and they don't show Jenga. Um, but that is pretty funny. People are selling these on Amazon like crazy and they have very low reviews doing well on Amazon. So that is just a couple things that I do inside of Helium 10 Black Box. From there, I do a lot of other steps like check the profit margin, check how much the manufacturer costs and all of these different data points that I look at. But again, this is more about finding products to sell on Amazon. And then from there, you have to do more research and make sure that it is the right product. Now, if you have no clue what I'm talking about and you wanna learn the whole process step-by-step, step, I do teach this stuff in over five hours of step-by-step -step videos that I keep up to date. You get a lifetime login there's no time limit. I also offer mentorship where I teach my students one-on-one. -on -one. So if you are interested in that, check down below in the description. Um, but that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Again, Helium 10, the discount code can be found down below. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.